Hi, I'm Doc Jenny. Join us in the Green Hornet as we travel the back roads of beautiful North Idaho. Every day is different, challenging, and never boring as we see all the farm animals, big and small. Here on the road with Dr. Jenny. Today we are preg checking this mare. She was bred 16 days ago and so we're gonna check and see if there's a baby inside. Okay little girl, let's see if you will hold still for this again. Good job sister. All right so we like to do a complete ultrasound at 16 days. This mare does have a history of having two eggs ovulated so we want to make sure that we don't have any evidence of twins, so I'm going to go in and scan the entire uterus. It lays in there like a big hammock. So we start at one end, check the ovary, and systematically go through the entire uterus until we get to right here, which is our baby. And so here's our uterus here, and at this stage our embryonic vesicle is nice and round. We have a high white sign at either end and the uh, width, the diameter of the vesicle is typically at this stage equal to the days of gestation. So we can measure it and go across and she's right at about 16, 17 days, which is exactly what we want. All right, so I'm just gonna get one more really good picture of it for Carrie so she can put it in her scrapbook. Hold still little sister. So the only problem that we have with this pregnancy is I'm almost at the end of the right horn. And so typically these embryonic vesicles are going to implant at the base of one of either the left or the right horn. And this one is, has implanted a little bit further up. So we're going to keep a close eye on this pregnancy and make sure that we recheck her sometime between 45 and 60 days. We'll confirm that there's a heartbeat and that she's held on to the pregnancy. Right now everything looks good. There's no fluid. The tone of the uterus looks good. And we have a nice round vesicle that's at the right stage. So we'll just hope that it stays and grows down the horn so that there's plenty of room for it to grow. All right, good job, mama. Very well done. Have you been riding her? No. No, okay, so she's off all the way. Yeah. So I would definitely, for her, because we have an embryonic vesicle that's a little higher up the horn than normal, that she just is a pasture okay. broodmare for until we get that checked. Okay. Normally when the mares, when you have a mare that's quiet and has been exercised, I don't mind them being worked after they've been bred, but because this one is just a little bit higher risk, if she stays quiet, that'll make things easier for us. All right, congratulations. All right, so we just uh, checked Carrie's mare at her 16 day preg check. That mare was bred with both uh, live cover and artificial insemination due to some complications while she was being bred. Uh, I did not do the breeding on that particular mare, but we have a pregnancy, yay. So that mare has a nice 16 day pregnancy. Our only uh, concern is that it is implanted a little further up the horn than what is considered normal. So we're gonna keep a close eye on that one. But for right now, the good news is that that mare is bred and hopefully we can come back in about 50 days and take a look at it and see that baby's heartbeat. And that's gonna be our goal. So the breeding game is always fun and unpredictable. And it's great when you get to see the, your hard work pay off. Hey everybody, thanks for riding with us in the Green Hornet today. This is Doc Jenny signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure and follow us in the Green Hornet with Tormund out on the road with Doc Jenny. Just click the link below and follow us along on our journeys. See you later.